Do you think in order to solve intelligence, we also need to solve consciousness along the way? Do you think AGI systems need to have consciousness in order to be truly intelligent? Yeah, we thought about this a lot, actually. And um, I think that my, my guess is that consciousness and intelligence are double dissociable. So you can have one without the other both ways. And I think you can see that with consciousness in that I think some animals and um, pets, if you have a pet dog or something like that, you can see some of the higher animals and dolphins, things like that, are uh, have self-awareness and uh, are very sociable, um, seem to dream. Um, you know, those kinds of, a lot of the traits one would regard as being kind of conscious and self-aware. Um, and, but yet they're not that smart, right? Uh, so they're not that intelligent by, by say IQ standards or something like that. Yeah. It's also possible that our understanding of intelligence is flawed, like putting an IQ to it. Sure. Maybe the thing that a dog can do is actually gone very far along the path of intelligence and we humans are just able to play chess and maybe write poems. Right, but if we go back to the idea of AGI and general intelligence, yes. you know, dogs are very specialized, right? Most animals are pretty specialized. They can be amazing at what they do, but they're like kind of elite sports sports people or something, right? So they well, do they one have, thing extremely well because their entire brain is, is optimized. They've somehow that. convinced the entirety of the human population to feed them and service them. So in some way they're Not controlling. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, we co-evolved to some crazy degree, right? Uh, yes. Including the, the, the way the dogs, you know, even even wag their tails and twitch their noses, right? We find we find in, in, inexorably cute. Yeah. Um, but I think um, you can also see intelligence on the other side. So systems like artificial systems that are amazingly smart at certain things, like maybe playing Go and chess and other things, but they don't feel at all in any shape or form conscious in the way that you, you know you do to to me or I do to you. And um, and I think actually building AI is uh, these intelligent constructs uh, is one of the best ways to explore the mystery of consciousness, to break it down, because um, we're going to have devices that are uh, pretty smart at certain things or capable at certain things, but um, potentially won't have any semblance of self-awareness or other things. And in fact, I would advocate if there's a choice, building systems in the first place, AI systems that are not conscious to begin with, uh, are just tools um, until we understand them better uh, and, and the capabilities better. 